Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's good to stop and visit with you today and just check in. You know, as I write my devotion, uh, it's the beginning of meteorological spring, and the spring equinox is on Sunday, March 20th, when daylight and darkness share equal time. You know what? Both things bring hope and a future, and it makes me happy. It promises of warmer temperatures, longer daylight, and yet more time to enjoy outside activities. Now, I acknowledge these are my biases, and I'm really excited about the changes that will be happening over the next couple of weeks. You know, this month we also turn our clocks forward on March 13th, and that means the sun will set on at 7.13th that Sunday. For me, I think things are really looking up, and that gives me hope. You know, spring is important, but there are even more important things that give me hope in my life. Wesley Church is beginning the Hope for the Future Capital Campaign, and that campaign will be seeking to reduce our debt service costs and make more funds available for ministry. That gives me hope, too, as we seek to be good stewards of this wonderful facility and the financial resources invested in Wesley Church. Our campaign scripture is found in Jeremiah 20:11 that says, for surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. God's hand has now been watching over and blessing this congregation for 152 years. That's amazing. The first church was built in 1878. In 1920, then they added a parsonage. But God wasn't done. In 1925, they added a social room, and in 1959, an education building was built. And then there was this terrible tragedy that struck in 1972. It'll be 52 years in May when our previous church building was destroyed by fire. But God had a plan with a future and a hope, and Wesley purchased a 12.45-acre tract and rebuilt on our current site. In 2003, the Wesley Preschool was started and continues to this day. And finally, the latest edition of the gym, kitchen, and classrooms edition was completed in 2007. My friends, all of this and sharing the history says that we see time and time again that God had has had a plan for Wesley Church, a plan that included hope and a bright future. But my friends, it was never just about the building, but it was always about those who gathered in these spaces and the sharing about Jesus. I have great hope because today's leadership team has taken up the mantle and is tackling many challenges. We have ministered through the pandemic, and now we're literally moving into a new normal. We are growing when you consider that our hybrid worship model is currently reaching more people for Jesus than we did in 2019. We are reducing our debt service costs so we can do even more in the name of Jesus in our community and beyond. And we are so blessed at Wesley Church with a talented congregation that gives me hope because they are the nucleus for growth. They are caring and compassionate of those around them, and they have such a strong work ethic. God is changing lives as we serve in our community and show us where the needs are greatest. And this year, I'm really excited. We're becoming stronger as we focus on being a praying church, and that gives me hope. We have agreed together to pray this simple prayer, Lord, what do you want to do through me? It is a prayer that calls us to open our heart to God and to let him guide us through this campaign. But it's also a prayer that we should utter each and every day, seeking not our own way, but asking God to guide our way. A praying church is a church that has a hope and a future. I pray this short devotional today speaks to those who tend Wesley and lets you know why I think this campaign is just the latest chapter in a long-standing legacy of God's plan for Wesley Church 
a plan with a hope and a bright future. But if you're a friend from another church, think about God's plan for where you worship. Think about the history of your church, the challenges that have been met in your history, the successes of so many generations, the capable leaders now in place, and those that you serve in ministry. Thank God for his plan, one with a hope and a future, here at Wesley and where you worship too. Amen. Just have two uh, things to remind us of uh, about here at, at Wesley Church. Uh, Mom to Mom will meet uh, next Wednesday, March 9th. Uh, they gather at 6.30. Uh, they gather for a family-style meal and then a program. There's a program, a separate program for the for the mothers that gather and for the children. And then Wesley Preschool uh, is now accepting applications uh, for the, this coming fall uh, school year, 2022-2023. Uh, and you can see the newsletter bulletin or website www.wesleyum.org slash preschool for additional information. Uh, so you certainly want to check that out. And if you haven't uh, registered your child yet, you certainly want to be thinking about doing that soon. Well, let me close our time with a word of prayer. Uh, will you pray with me? Loving God, too often we forget the myriad of ways that your plan has blessed us individually and as congregations. Help us today to reflect on our past and give thanks to you. Help us to trust you with the next chapter of your plan. I know it's going to be a good one. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, thank you for visiting with me. You know, I really enjoy these weekly times that we can just pause and think together. We'll talk again soon, and I pray that God's peace will be with you this day and every day. Stay strong and stay safe.